Hello and welcome friends to the very first Brazos Valley Community Cleanup Challenge. We're so pleased and excited that you're able to participate. The webinar slides and recording will be posted on BBCOG's Brazos Valley Community Cleanup Challenge website at www.bvcleanup.org. If any of the team leaders have questions, please feel free to contact me at candelyn.mclean at bvcog.org. Or you can call me at 979-595-2800. I will give a brief overview of the Brazos Valley Community Cleanup Challenge. We have some resources that will assist participants. I will discuss reporting data and the user portal. We will look over some frequently asked questions and then if there are any questions, feel free to contact me. One of the goals of the BBCOG Regional Solid Waste Management Plan is to maximize proper disposal. Objectives involved will include, number one, improving community participation, number two, providing education, number three, collecting data, and number four, increasing illegal dumping prevention efforts. This type of event was first conceptualized by the North Central Texas Council of Governments, who has graciously provided the details of their event for us to use as a model. Why focus on litter, you ask? Litter is unsightly, harmful to wildlife, increases flooding risk, and creates water quality issues. So how does trash affect water quality? When debris, plastic bags, bottles, cigarette butts, etc., is thrown on the ground, it gets washed into storm drains and directly into waterways. In addition to potentially choking, suffocating, or disabling aquatic life, like ducks, fish, turtles, and birds, litter decreases oxygen levels in the water when it decays. Why is trash harmful to wildlife? Researchers estimate that over 1 million animals die each year after becoming entrapped in or ingesting litter. The most common killer of animals is plastic litter, notably impacting marine animals. Each year, more than 100,000 dolphins, fish, whales, and turtles drown after becoming entangled or eating plastic. How does litter increase flooding? Trash and litter clog storm drains and cause flooding, which can damage homes and businesses. Trash and litter that does not pass through the storm drain or travel down the drainage ditch washes directly into nearby rivers and streams, harming drinking water supplies, wildlife and recreational use of our rivers and streams. What are three negative effects of trash in the water? Litter can serve as a breeding ground for bacteria and can spread disease through direct or indirect contact with humans. Mismanaged trash may also attract pests or cause fires. Aquatic trash can also have negative impacts on recreation, tourism, and the economy. Approximately 362 million pieces of litter accumulate on Texas roads each year. Items discarded from cars and trucks account for half of all litter along Texas roads. Roadside litter across the United States is down 54% in the past decade, and there are approximately 50 billion pieces of litter on the ground in the United States. Trash, packaging, and improperly disposed waste from sources on land account for 80% of marine debris found on beaches during cleanups and surveys. So who can participate in the Brazos Valley Community Cleanup Challenge? 
We want all of our communities as a whole to get involved in the challenge and be inspired to make environmental stewardship a priority. Everyone in the Brazos Valley Council of Governments region can participate. Residents in Brazos, Burleson, Grimes, Leon, Madison, Robertson, and Washington counties are all welcome to participate. So what does this mean for the competition? To be eligible for the trophy and bragging rights, communities need to register and sign up on the website no later than April the 1st to officially participate. Participation is from March 1st to May 31st. Once registered, you will be able to post cleanup events on the calendar and be recognized as a participating community. Individual participants are not limited to only cleaning up at organized local events. Any cleanup of litter and trash at their local park, neighborhood or block in which they live or work that's collected at any time during the challenge timeframe can be reported and count toward the community in which they collected the litter. Individuals should report their cleanup information to their team leader so that the team leader can log their cleanup data. All cleanup data collected by communities and individuals must be for activities that have occurred during the challenge time frame of March 1st to May 31st, 2023, and must be logged by June 30th, 2023. If you are the team leader, you must certify that you're an authorized representative of the selected city or county. The team leader must confirm that the community will participate in the Brazos Valley Community Cleanup event. All participants must sign the BBCOG waiver. Please note that organized cleanup events in the city of Bryan with 30 or more participants and cleanup events in the city of College Station must complete waivers prior to beginning the cleanup challenge. Go to their websites for more information about the waivers. I'm going to use data that we collected from our Regional Solid Waste Management Plan to use as a baseline as we go forward collecting data in this cleanup challenge. As I said previously, we'll be using data from our Regional Solid Waste Management Plan and this slide will give you some data regarding our residential waste generation from projection of 2019 to 2042. The disposal rate per person per day is equal to 6.36 pounds. The recycling rate per person per day is 1.78 pounds. The increase in population from 2019 to 2014 is an estimated increase of 113,269 people. And with that increase in population, there will be an increase in waste generation and unfortunately, an increase in litter. The data that we have for commercial generation in the top 10 employment sectors from the projection dates of 2022 to 2042 is the following. Disposal rate per person per day is equal to 17.61 pounds. The recycling rate per person per day is only 5.19 pounds. The increase in population from 2022 to 2042 is 46,691. And again, this is in the commercial waste generation. Unfortunately, not all the waste that is generated makes it to the proper methods for disposal or for recycling. Its final result is usually found in litter. The largest area of population within the region is the Bryan College Station area. So you can imagine that we might find the largest level of litter in the areas with the larger populations. It's always better to be proactive than reactive, especially when it regards litter. 
proactive projects that allow many citizens to engage in litter cleanup events involve Keep Texas Beautiful affiliates, the Don't Mess With Texas Trash Off events. All seven counties have at least one Keep Texas Beautiful affiliate that engages its residents to help keep their communities clean and promote litter-free events. I don't have any data to back up the cleanup events progress, but I'm quite sure that if I did, it would demonstrate that the data collected pre-COVID would be higher than the data collected post-COVID. We're hoping to get back to the levels of pre-COVID and possibly surpass the amount of litter that was collected in previous years. Better yet, it would be great if we could successfully educate citizens in our communities about the negative impact that litter has on our environment, then reducing and finally eliminating litter completely. Okay, now I'll give you a little history about the Brazos Valley Community Cleanup Challenge. The vision for the Brazos Valley Community Cleanup Challenge, or the challenge, was created by the North Central Texas Council of Governments, who has shared their expertise with others. It was created to provide friendly regional competition among the communities and residents to see who could clean up the most litter during a set time frame. This is the first ever Brazos Valley Community Cleanup Challenge to be held in the Brazos Valley and we are glad that you all are wanting to participate in it. Joining the Brazos Valley Community Cleanup Challenge is easy and it takes just a few simple steps. Navigate to the Texas Litter Database, Log Cleanup page, select Community Count Sign In, click Create New User Account, then enter your information and post cleanup events to the event calendar. Go to My Events and locate the Brazos Valley Community Cleanup Challenge, or EE8. Please sign your community up for the cleanup challenge no later than April 1st to be eligible for the trophy and all data must be logged in by June 30th, 2023. Advertise your participation in the challenge when promoting your event. Use our hashtag, hashtag BVCleanup, before, during, and after the event, and make use of our logo. Send photos of your groups in action. And don't forget, count your Adopt-a-Spot collection data if it gets reported back to you. To participate in the Brazos Valley Community Cleanup Challenge as an individual participant, pick up litter at any time in your neighborhood, community, or place of work. Contact your team leader and give your cleanup data to them. Your team leader will log the data into the Texas Litter Database. When participating in an organized cleanup event, please do not report your individual litter collection data. The team leaders should report data for the event as a whole. To even the playing field between larger and smaller communities, scoring is calculated using a weighted average of collected litter and trash, number of volunteers and volunteer hours on a per capita basis. This means that we divide the efforts logged by a city's or county's population. The formula for calculating each city's or county's score is as follows. The number of events times 3 plus total volunteers times 2 plus total bags collected times 10,000 divided by the population. Population numbers are calculated using the 2021 report from census.gov. Now I'll cover some helpful resources to help you as you plan your community cleanup challenge event. Please let us know about the resources that you find helpful and those that you would like more help with in the future. 
under the toolbox drop down, you will be able to find more information about the Brazos Valley Community Cleanup Challenge. You will be able to find partner resources and downloads. Trash Free Texas has an example Community Cleanup Challenge planning checklist that may be helpful to you. There are templates to use for conducting and promoting cleanup events, press releases in English and Spanish and proclamations, flyer templates to use for advertising your cleanup event or the challenge as a whole, cleanup challenge logo files for use with your own publications, know before you go, which are helpful hints to conducting successful cleanup events, general guidelines and safety tips if you don't already have this type of information available. Toolkits prepackaged for promoting the cleanup challenge on social media or hosting a cleanup event of your own. Cleanup supplies are provided by the Brazos Valley Solid Waste Management Agency. Contact me if you know you will need a toolkit. You can reach me at candolin.mclean at bbcog.org or call me at 979-595-2800. There are also loads of YouTube videos to help you as you plan your cleanup event. Log on to cleanup.impactgroupwebsites2.com. Go to create new event, enter the event ID, which is EE8, you will see new trash report. This is where you will enter the data for your cleanup events. Those doing individual cleanups must provide their cleanup data to their team leader who will enter their cleanup data. You may click on the location to identify the area where your cleanup event is taking place. Then you can use the drop down box to select the county where your cleanup event is located. The date and time that you enter the data will be automatically populated. Enter your organization name and the email of the contact person or team leader. You will be prompted to provide a site name. There will be a drop down box for you to select the site type. Then list the total hours for conducting the cleanup events. If you are counting bottles for the Take Two program bottle count, there is a box for entering that data. Are you doing a targeted count? Check to see if you're targeting one or two specific trash items in a count. For example, only counting cigarette butts or plastic straws. Are you doing partial audit? Check to see if you only audited a portion of your total collection, like a half of a sample. Check to see if you saw a trash can on this site. Recycling bins. Check the box to see if you saw a recycling bin at this site. Now we'll do a cleanup summary. Log down the trash picked up in pounds. Whether you collect the trash in a small, medium, or large bag, indicate the gallon size in the drop box. There is an area where you will be able to add notes also if desired. Other site descriptors include list data collected method in a drop down box. If your team is cleaning a TxDOT road, list the miles that will be cleaned in the drop box. Waterways that are cleaned should be listed in miles in the drop box. Areas that are clean should be listed in acres in the drop box. If you are a participant with adopt a spot or trash bash, etc., you must enter the external ID. Up to four external IDs can be listed on one line. Indicate if you're cleaning up an illegal dump site. Also, count and report the recyclables that are collected. Then, Click on the submit button when you're done. That's it, you're done. Now we'll go over a few frequently asked questions. Are there any requirements or restrictions around the kinds of events that qualify for the challenge? The answer is yes. 
The events should be any litter cleanup event that takes place at parks, along roadways or waterways, etc. Cleanup of adopted spots can count too. Basically, if you have people or volunteers outside cleaning up trash and litter, it counts. Next question. Is there a deadline to sign on? Yes. Communities wanting to officially participate should sign on by April 1st, 2023. However, the earlier you sign on, the more time there is to advertise your participation, plan events, and gather participants who are interested in helping you clean up. Is there a deadline to report my data? Yes, there is. All cleanup data must be reported and entered by June 30th, 2023. How do I measure the litter data that I'm reporting? The report form uses common metrics used by Keep Texas Beautiful, such as estimated weights for bags. If you want to ensure your data is more accurate, you may consider using a luggage scale that's readily can be purchased online or at a sporting goods store. If you've never conducted a cleanup event before, no worries. You may find a planning checklist located in the Trash Free Texas Toolkit. Planning your event. Community cleanup planning checklist. This can help you get started. Make sure that if you are the team leader, that your email address has been recorded in order to receive any follow-up email messages. I'd also like to let you know about an upcoming event. It's the Brazos Valley Shred Day on Thursday, April the 20th, 2023 from 10 to 2 at the Brazos County Expo Center. Each vehicle will be limited to five copy boxes and this event is open to all residents in the Brazos Valley, Brazos, Burleson, Grimes, Leon, Madison, Robertson, and Washington counties. So we'll see you soon at the Brazos Valley Shred Day. I'm so glad you're on board and you're ready for the Brazos Valley Community Cleanup Challenge. If you have any questions or you have any concerns, please feel free to reach out to me, candolin.mclean at bbcog.org or 979-595-2800. Good luck and have a great cleanup event.